It's been a tough opening to the season for a number of key Gold Coast Suns players. Obviously I was in a bit of pain and I kind of hobbled off the ground and I was a little bit worried. Um, you know, for the I guess for the first 24 hours. Uh, look, he had a hyperextension injury where he tried to uh, run forward and his leg got forced uh, into extension. So uh, the result of it from scans showed that he had a bit of bruising at the front of his knee and also strained what's called the posterior lateral corner of his uh, knee capture. Ablett spent six hours in the club's ice baths on the evening. He injured his knee and has undergone extensive physiotherapy since. Effort, club strength and conditioning coach Andrew Weller believes will greatly reduce Gary's time on the sidelines. The guys that have been around a lot more really understand the benefits that you can make by using and following those protocols and you can turn a, a three week injury into a one week injury sometimes or a four week injury into a two week injury. So they do everything they can to get back as quickly as possible. After missing the North Melbourne and Fremantle clashes, Gary and the Suns medical team worked around the clock to ensure he and fellow star Michael Riscatelli are back on deck for this weekend's highly anticipated clash with the GWS Giants. He sprained his uh, anterior talofibular ligament, which is uh, a small ligament at the front of your ankle that helps support um, your ankle going into plantar flexion. He's been managed conservatively. While Michael and Gary are on track to take their place in the Suns lineup, the news isn't as good for Jared Harbrow, who'll miss a big chunk of the season after suffering a serious arm injury against the Lions in round four. Yeah, he had a very unusual injury and it's one that we don't see a lot in AFL football. He, uh, he obviously went into a tackle and his arm got caught under the player's body and he was rotating one way and his arm was going the other way. The injury made the joint unstable and after receiving further medical opinion, it was decided the only way forward was surgery. More on Jared's recovery next week.